Bengal cats are athletes. Agile, active, and muscular, with a wild appearance that makes them seem fit for the jungle, these cats are not for everyone. If you already own one, caring for them is a constant hustle. That's why in this video, we bring to you 10 things you must never do to your Bengal cat. If you don't already have one but want to get one, this list should give you an idea of what to expect. But first, if you love our content, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel, because we constantly bring you useful info that will help you be a better pet owner. Let's get started. 1. Leaving them alone for too long. Most cats are naturally solitary animals and prefer to be alone, but Bengals are a different story. They are incredibly social animals and need to be around people. Leaving a Bengal cat alone for too long is not only going to make your cat unhappy, but could also lead to destructive habits or aggression. 2. Neglecting playtime. Neglecting playtime can result in an intelligent and active cat plagued with boredom, which could be disastrous for your home. Bengal cats enjoy playing games like fetch and learning new tricks and will need puzzle toys that can challenge their intelligence. They also love climbing and jumping and will definitely need a cat tree to play on. 3. Leading them outside unsupervised. Bengal cats cannot be kept completely indoors, as they're more active and require more stimulation than other cats, so you should let them outside whenever possible. But whenever you do, proper supervision is required. They are curious cats and have a tendency to wander off, and can easily become prey to other animals, get lost, or even be killed. They also pose a threat to local wildlife or small pets around. Keep track of your Bengal to make sure they're safe and free from the threats associated with the outdoors. 4. Declawing them. Declawing is often thought of as a simple procedure where the claws get trimmed, but it's a lot more brutal than that. During declawing, all of the last bone in every claw gets amputated so they can never grow back. If performed on a human, it would be like cutting their fingers off at the top joint. If you're having issues with your Bengal damaging your things, follow a different approach and invest in a scratching pad or post. 5. Leaving them in total darkness. One of the worst things a cat owner can do is to leave their pet in a completely dark room for a prolonged period of time. Although cats are known to see in the dark, they can't see in total darkness. Being left alone in a room with absolutely no light can make them feel anxious, scared, and helpless. 6. Hitting your Bengal as punishment. Never hit your Bengal cat. Hitting your Bengal when they do something wrong will actually make everything worse. They will get scared and react by biting in defense or running away, and will definitely not learn anything from it. Instead of hitting, use positive reinforcement and treat motivation to help them correct bad behavior. 7. Forgetting vet visits. Bengal cats are healthy cats that can live up to 16 years on average. However, they are vulnerable to the same conditions as other cats and at an older age. One condition found in Bengal cats that should be known to any potential owner is distal neuropathy, a nervous system condition that causes weakness. A lot of Bengal cats experience distal neuropathy in their first year, and a lot of them recover naturally, but some may relapse. Neglecting vet visits can make everything much worse and make it hard to locate health issues before it's too late. 8. Never leave them alone with rodent-like pets. You can't keep a Bengal cat and a hamster under the same roof without expecting an accident. Bengal cats have a strong prey drive and are really good hunters, skilled at catching rodents and even birds. To keep your rodent alive, they need to be very far from your Bengal cat. In the end, it's better not to even get a rodent as a pet if you have a Bengal cat. 9. Feeding them low-quality food. A healthy diet where the base is animal protein, like traditional chunks in gravy or pâtés free from artificial additives, is the best option for your Bengal cat. If your Bengal is used to eating dry food, try slowly mixing it with wet food so you can slowly increase the fluids in their diet. Introducing a new diet will require time and patience while they adjust to it. 10. Keeping them in a tight space. As previously said, Bengal cats are agile and energetic. So tight spaces are not a good fit for them. They need enough space to run around and play in. They can be perfectly fine living anywhere, even in small apartments, as long as their exercise needs are met, and they have enough space to do their thing. The bottom line is, Bengals are amazing cats with a lot of joy and companionship to offer, but they're definitely not for everyone. 
Investing a lot of time and patience into caring for them will ultimately make you a better pet owner. So, are you a Bengal cat owner? What is your cat like? Please leave a comment below.